Hello, this is Andrew from My Investor's Place. My Investor's Place is a website dedicated to commodity trading and trend followers. And I invite you to come to really learn how successful traders think and what they do. What I want to talk about briefly is um, what is riskier, the stock market or commodity trading? Because um, it seems that commodity trading has gotten almost, let's say, a bad rap, that it's very risky. Well. The stock market is very risky. Actually, both are very risky. Um, it's, it, it all really boils down to this. Many people listen to CNBC and Bloomberg, and they want to be told what to do. How many or analysts that are telling them what is the greatest idea, or Jim Cramer screaming about uh, the greatest stock, or even now, people are talking about green shoots. I don't know if the market's going to turn around or not turn around. It's not the, the, the point. But really, the difference between commodity traders and trend followers versus just buy and hold in the stock market, it's very simple. When we're a commodity trader, the trend follows. We have no opinion. I don't know what any market is going to go. People ask me all the time, what's going to happen with gold? What's going to happen in the U.S. dollar? And unfortunately, I don't have a crystal ball. And that's not what people really want to hear. So what is the difference when we're talking commodity trading? Commodity trading, when you're trend following, it's only based on one thing. Not multiple, multiple, multiple indicators. It's really based on one cold hard fact. And that is price movement. And the goal of any successful commodity trading advisor or trend follower is to actually follow. And the other interesting thing, the fact of the matter is, most of these trades don't work. I mean, we don't have to be right. All we have to do is have a plan, cut our losses very sharp, and over time we're going to have some interesting wins that will make up for all these small losses. So really what I want to suggest to you is a couple things. If you think about commodity trading, yes, it's very risky. Stock trading or stock market is very risky. Buy and hold is even riskier. So what I really want to say to you is have a plan. Think in terms like this, risk per trade. How much are you risking of your account on any one trade? Your risk per sector. What's your open trade equity risk? And if you don't think about risk, you're going to, that risk is going to come back and bite you. So <clears throat> even if it boils down to the fact of trying to avoid risk, risk is out there. Even just holding dollars, or if that's your base currency, there's risk. And um, really the whole idea is diversify. Don't allocate more than 5% of your, of your net worth to any idea. And consider commodity trading. And it might be sound something new or crazy, risky, but it's not. If you do it with a risk management plan, that everything is thought out ahead of time, and you're looking and you're mag always, always monitoring your risk. Yeah, things can happen, and there are risks, but we're trying to mitigate them. And there's no way to avoid risk. The only people that avoided risk were the ones that, have, that invested with Madoff and lost you know what they lost. So what I would suggest to you is come to my investor's place. You'll learn a lot of stuff about commodity trading. You'll possibly learn how to protect yourself and there's upcoming inflation. Could be. Um, again, this is Andrew Abraham. I'm a commodity trading advisor. I've been trading commodities since 1994. There's no secret. There's no holy grail. It's a lot of hard work. Please come to uh, my investor's place and join us. Thank you very much.